All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is my trailer. This is my 2021 16-foot V-nose trailer, and I did a video on this last year where I did the epoxy floor. I, I put this in, so I've had the epoxy floor in for now, for now about a year, and I want to give kind of an update. I keep getting a lot of emails, requests, comments of people want to know the update on the floor. How's it holding up? And I want to just give you a quick walkthrough to kind of show you how the floor looks after a year of use. Actually, I've used it quite a bit, so this gets used quite a bit. I've been keeping my bikes in here on a regular basis, so oil, gas, dirt gets spilled on here on the floor quite a bit. You can kind of see some like uh, some of these spots here. Those are actually just not covering the floor thick enough in the epoxy. So that's not like the the paint really fading or anything. There, the epoxy floor fading. It's really just I should have done a thicker coat of epoxy on the floor because I did it right onto the wood surface. I'll leave a link to the video where I did the did the floor. I'll leave that link down below and then a few of the other uh, trailer videos I did on this because I got a you know some customization on this. But the floor actually is look really good. There's really no chipping, no peeling. It's held up really well. I did a nice thick layer of clear epoxy on it. There's a couple scratches on the ramp door here. Let me see that. Like there's one right there. This is like from a kickstand. It was left up on the bike, so I just scratched it a little bit there. So there's a, there's a, some scratches, but overall, like in the main area here, actually it's held up really well. If I was to do it again, I definitely would. I definitely would do the epoxy again. It seemed to just be the most affordable way to cover the floor and make the floor really look look good. One thing I have planned is I need to figure out something to coat the baseboards in. So the baseboards are just wood, and they're just next to the they just go right up to the epoxy floor. So when this gets dirty, like, you know, we'll go out dirt biking, pull the bikes in, and it'll be muddy in here. So I'll just get the pressure washer in here, spray it out, and it cleans up really well. Oil, dirt, gas clean up really well. It doesn't stain it. The oil doesn't soak into it. The oil just sits right on top of the floor, and it wipes up super easy. So as far as cleanup go, is it's awesome. I think it's better than like a rubber floor because rubber floors will, will like kind of absorb that or it'll leave a stain. This doesn't really, it's not, this it hasn't stained at all. So it's been good. I've got this, this piece here. This is actually an imperfection in the wood. You can kind of see how it looks not perfectly even as far as the coverage goes. So I would say if you're, this is a 16 foot trailer, I would get a little more product and maybe do two coats of the epoxy, like I did the gray. I would do two and then two coats of clear the flakes and the two coats of clear on top and you got you get that it seems going to be like you know pretty bulletproof but i can still screw into it pretty easily when i screwed in these e-tracks you know you can screw into it pretty easily so there's some scratching like you can see kind of a little bit of scratching right here so there's a couple little scratches right there just just from things being drug around here it'll scratch a little bit but with the flakes with the flakes on top of the the epoxy with and with the clear on top to protecting that it really is held up really well so i'm really happy with it so that's kind of the update it turned out great turned out great it's holding up great and no complaints at all but yeah this is mainly just used for dirt bikes atvs things like that so I've been happy with this, and then got, we've gotten a lot of use out of this too. So this this has been a great solution to that. Haven't done a whole lot of new things. I did add another row. So this e-track here, since my last video last year, this e-track along the wall, I added that because I find if you're using these 45-degree angle wheel chocks, I'll leave links to these, but you pull your bikes in at a 45 degree, so you can stack seven, eight bikes in here at a 45 degree angle. It's better to have the tie downs closest to the wall. The ones back here are not keeping the, the bikes securely into the wheel chalk, so you need to have the, wheel, the, the tie downs closer to the wall. So that was one thing that I added. Um, I've added a couple of uh, some outlets, some, some charging outlets here, 12 volt charging outlets here. These are my underglow lights my under cabinet lighting here on that switch 
Anyways, yeah, see the link down below. I'll leave links to the uh, the kind of the build that I did on this. But this has been a really functional, really great trailer with all the cabinetry, the storage areas, toolbox, and then just the functionality and versatility of the e-track really has made it great. And the epoxy floor just makes it really makes it really looking makes it really look nice. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to leave comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.